Is this the moment for Lee Fowler? It is. Take your place in Division 2, Huddersfield Town. He's missed. Steve Simonson clears the flame of the goal and collapses in a heap of tears. Pete's got a chance. Yes. And he scores. Jack Pete scores. Heffel is in there. Smith scores for Huddersfield Town. 3-2 Town. For a sherry, Danny Ward saves. Danny Ward saves. The quarter's in. Round the hair. Two 0 on a field town. Christopher Schindler has a chance to write his name in Huddersfield Town legend. And he takes that chance. Westrock Sport Daily, BBC Radio Leeds. Jonathan Buchan here with you until seven o'clock this evening. Time now to talk Huddersfield Town. Probably fair to say, fairly quiet summer for them so far. To talk all things Terriers, it's one of the lads from the He Takes That Chance podcast, which if you're a Terriers fan, I'm sure you already subscribe to. And it's a podcast you'll hear our very own Paul Ogden on very soon, I'm led to believe. It's Neil Wayne. Evening, Neil. Evening, Johnny. You all right? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? How are you feeling about the summer so far for the Terriers then as you prepare for life back in the Championship? Um, I think it's been a bit subdued so far. I think that's fair to say. A um, couple of couple of signings in, a couple of young lads. Um, particularly like the signing of Elphick. I think he's he's what we've needed. To be honest, a bit of uh, a bit of solid championship experience there. But the other two, sort of obviously uh, unknown quantities, really. So a wait and see job. Yeah, did you feel that that grit, I suppose, that Elphick brings, that experience that he brings, is something that is actually lacking? quite a lot in your side, especially if a couple of your, your bigger names who will come on to move on? Yeah, I think we've, we have we missed that sort of experience th- throughout the Premier League spell, to be honest. Um, and I think when we when we came down, I think quite a few of us have spoken quite openly about the fact that we'd, I'd like us to see, see us go for, you know, two or three sort of experienced champ players and we're going to need those because that's going to be a, a crazily hard division again next season by the looks of it. How much do you need that mix, though, of, of experience and youth? A couple of young players you brought in, Reese Brown from Forest Green, uh, Josh Caroma from Leighton Orient. We know you've got Carl and Grant as well, who, who was signed in January, probably with a, an eye on the championship next season. So how much do you need that balance of young, hungry players and that experience for this division, do you think? Oh, without a doubt. I think I think everyone's sort of very, very hopeful that, you know, Grant hits the ground running. He, he showed a lot of promise in, in the spell. I mean, considering the goals he got, you know, four or five goals in the Premier League in sort of 13, 14 games. Um, that was exciting, especially in a team that were abysmal in front of goal, it's, it's fair to say. Um, Bakuna, another one that's quite exciting for next season. But you just need these old heads around them just to sort of mix and match a bit. What about the big names that are still at the club? How many of you are expecting to, to still be at the club when the season kicks off? I'm talking about your, your Billings, your Moyes, Congolo, Schindler, Zanka, people like that. I think it's safe to say that Billing and Zanker will be gone. Um, Aaron Moy, I'd be amazed in a month's time when we're playing Derby if he's still here. Obviously delighted, but amazed. Congolo being linked with Villa, but they've made a couple of signings since that link came out. So I think it's anybody's guess with, with any of them. Um, and I think obviously that's why it's been a bit slow on the, on the incoming front, because I think they're waiting to see who does go. So I think... It might be quiet over the next couple of weeks, and I think the last couple of weeks of the window towards the season starting will be uh, manic, to be honest, in ins and outs. Dangerous way to play it, though, that isn't it, I suppose, because then you're leaving your business until late in the window as well. It is, and you know they've got people lined up. I mean, um, the new chairman um, spoke very well in his interviews, um, and he mentioned that we've got you know two or three lined up from Premier League sides that will have the impact that Aaron Moyes had. I mean, that's that's a big shout because Aaron Moyes. Is probably the best player I've seen in a town shirt in, in the 39 years I've been watching. So if we can get somebody in that makes half the impact Adam Moyes made, I'll be, I'll be very happy. Um, but yeah, I think the chairman the say, he said a lot of the right things. Um, he's right that if, if we go out and buy six or seven now, you end up with a squad of, you know, 40 players and it's just not, it, it just doesn't make any sense money-wise, 
squad wise, manager looking after them wise. So it, it is a dangerous game, but it's, it's probably the right one to be honest. Have you been impressed then by Phil Hodgkinson so far? He was only ratified this week, wasn't he? But we've known for a while he was going to become the the seventy five percent stakeholder, the chairman as well, taking over the reins from from Dean Hoyle. Have you been impressed by what you've heard in his interviews? And I know he's doing some fans forums and the likes as well. Yeah, he's uh, well on, on the subject of fans forums. He's actually um, agreed to come on the and, and he takes that chance podcast um, when the window's shut, so we've got plenty to talk about. So that's. Uh, that's a nice plug. I like it. That's a good plug. It was time to sneak it in, Johnny. That was the opening. <laughs> you, you left it wide open. Would have, would, have missed, would, have, would have missed that last season, so I thought I'd take it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, he spoke very well, to be fair. Um, he's a town fan. You know, he's, he's, he's successful in other businesses. And let's be fair, he's not coming into this job to fail. He's got big shoes to fill in, Dean Oil. Uh, we all know that. Um, but Dean Oil, you know, Phil, Phil was Dean's choice and Dean didn't make many mistakes, did he? So I think it's time for everybody. Now. I mean, I, I've criticised uh, Jan Siever as well last season. I've made doubts, but I think the time is now clearly staying. Phil's coming and it's time for everybody now to, to get behind them all because ultimately if we get behind them all and they do well, we're all happy. Yeah, that's quite interesting because you were quite a big critic. You didn't necessarily feel he was the right man for the job. Um, no. So I'm I'm not going to say, have you changed your mind? But I suppose have you changed your attitude by the sounds of it towards it? Attitude, yeah, 100%. I think at the end of the day, we, we want him to succeed. He's, he is, as it stands now, he is with a field town's manager. So he does well. All of us who pay his money every week and go up and down country are going to be happy. So... It, it only serves in all our interest to get behind him now. What are you hoping for town this season? Is a realistic expectation to be up that top end pushing for, for playoffs or even better? Or is, is the realistic expectation just to settle back into the division? What are you and, and other town fans that you're speaking to and, and that you're, you're involved with, what are they sort of feeling? The, the range is from certainties for promotion to certainties for relegation. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few in the middle ground. I'll be honest, personally, I just don't know. Um, if if the squad looks like it does now, you know, if you've still got your, your Moyes, your Congolos, your Schindlers, there's no reason why with a couple of additions that we've made and maybe a couple more that we can't do OK. Um, I think anybody saying that we're going to go straight back up, etc., that, that's a bit too awful. Um, I'd like to see... Do you know what? It'd just be nice, and, and we've, we've said this a few times on podcasts, it'd just be nice to walk through turnstiles on a Saturday or thanks to Sky Monday nights and Friday nights um, <laughs> to just see us compete and not think if we go go down, that's game over. Just to be, you know, in games and excited and get, get us off the seats again, get us excited again and, you know, and we'll see what goes from there. But I'm sure everybody at club will be trying their best. And, and when's the next podcast out then? Go on, I'll let you have your, your second free plug. When's it out? What's coming up on it? Good man. Um, we've actually got Oggy on uh, on Tuesday. So that should be interesting. So that'll be a three-hour show then? No, he's, he's making a start <laughs> early. We've got, to, we've got to be in there for nine o'clock in the morning. He's got till about half past ten, I think. So <laughs> um, so we'll get that one done. That, that, that should be interesting with Oggy. And then um, a couple that we've got coming up. Obviously, I mentioned we've got Phil coming on, which is from new chairman. I think that's phenomenal to come in and obviously mix with fans straight away. And also, um, we've had agreement from uh, Dean Oil that he's going to come on as well. So looking good for a few good guests. Yeah, great stuff. Top man, Neil, thanks for speaking to us. Pleasure, John Neil Wayne. Thanks, mate. That is Neil Wayne there from He Takes That Chance podcast. And if you are a town fan, you'll be able to find that in all of the usual places. Do go have a listen to it as well, especially with some of the stellar guests like Paul Ogden on the way in the coming weeks. Uh, now we're going to... Is this the moment for Lee Fowler? It is. Take your place in Division 2, Huddersfield Town. He's missed. Steve Simonson clears the flame of the goal and collapses in a heap of tears. Pate's got a chance. Pate scores! Jack Pate scores! Hedman is in there! Schmidt scores for Huddersfield Town! 3-2 Town! Boris Jerry, Danny Ward saves! Danny Ward saves! The quatch was in, round the hair! 2-0 Huddersfield Town! 
Christopher Schindler has a chance to write his name in Huddersfield Town legend. And he takes that chance!